Hello, everybody, and welcome to Stewing 33 Plays Hand of Fate. My name is Stewing 33, and today, ladies and gentlemen, I have been curious about this game, Hand of Fate, since I started watching a small series on the second game, Hand of Fate 2. One more um, game. I ignored this game when it came out a while back. And, um. You have passed the 13 gates. I've largely regretted it. So we're gonna check it out. You come to my table to play the game of life and death. Your stake is wagered. I refuse none who come here. Yet, I say, turn back. So, Hand of Fate back is so essentially... Soon. I knew you. Let's get started, I guess. Game hey. begins. Hand of Fate is essentially one it's a... lives and one dies. Let us see what you are made of. It's an RPG that takes place in a deck construction format. So essentially, we get handed cards Here's and the cards the do stuff, of right? My court, the Jack of Dust. Twelve in all must fall before you may challenge me. The bandit leader is stronger and faster than most bandits encountered. He can become enraged, making powerful, unblockable attacks. He also inspires his followers to steal gold from each hit. There you go. So essentially, we're we're given cards to build a deck with. The deck, uh, the the dealer, who's this man, nice gentleman right in front of us, also puts cards Let into the deck. Fall where they may. We begin. That like essentially allows us to do stuff, right? As far as I know about the game, that's pretty much it. Um, I am going to turn subtitles on real quick here, so that way you guys can read it while I'm doing all of this, and we'll make sure that the everything else is on fine. There we go. Okay. Um, but that's all I know about the game, is that it's essentially a deck-building game. We apparently don't have access to doing that right now. You can always review your cards here. Uh, interesting. This is different than I was expecting. So essentially, we have an axe and this light armor on, things like that, right? Uh, it's not that hard. It's an intriguing game. I find the idea Fair of this intriguing. I'm not surprised to find that this encounter remains vivid in your memories. Well, one day in a shady forest, you encounter an elf maiden. She stops to greet you. I am Merith of the forest folk. My people have long helped the mortals of this realm. What boon would you ask of me? Well, I don't think we need food. I guess we'll take gold. Merith seems surprised. It is unlike an adventurer to beg for coin, but very well, if that is your wish. She gives uh, the dealer draws you three gold gain cards. Forty gold. I'm sure Holy you're crap. grateful for that. Oh my god, a lot of gold. Uh, the greatest of magical artifacts are forged a long ago and have only limited uses. Before their power is spent, use them wisely, and they may guide you to victory. Farewell, mortal. All right. This seems like the tutorial section for like the game, essentially, right? Twisted Canyon. That first moment. That glinting weapon. You see a weapon glinting the in the sunlight. To action, to adventure. Truly, there is nothing like it. You see a weapon glinting in the sunlight, lying next to a skeleton at the bottom of the canyon. The walls of the canyon are covered with thick vines perfect for climbing. Let's climb down and retrieve the weapons. See, as I say, so a lot of the game takes place on the board like this, right? Just Where these, like, these options. games essentially occur. So that was like a follow the shell game. I've gotten pretty good at it from watching the series, but I can only do it on the slower ones. It's really hard uh, once it gets really fast. Uh, very carefully, you make your way down to the bottom of the canyon. You retrieve the weapon from the ancient corpse. You draw an equipment card. We've got an axe. Cool. Uh, yes, I would like to equip the A axe. A moment please. to savor. That will make you much more effective. Cool. Mr. Lionel. Appears to be some sort of goblin man. Whilst enjoying your evening meal at the local tavern, a strange old man takes the seat next to yours. He taps your shoulder quite painfully with his wooden staff to get your attention. You notice that he appears to be a goblin, poorly disguised as a human. Uh, his wizened face grins at you with a hint of madness. My name is Mr. Lionel. If you give me that what I need, boy, I will conjure up the heart's desire with the wizarding wand of my own creation. Uh, all right, what do you need? Need? I need you to help. Mr. Lionel taps the staff on the ground and shield materializes at your feet. There you go, old bean. He smiles a warm grin that reveals all his chipped and yellow teeth. Your face reminds me of my son. I haven't met you before, have I? Draws one equipment card. I got a shield. There you go. Uh, shields with the trait uh, with the reflect trait allow the hero to reflect projectiles back at their attacker. This must be performed 
The precisely timing of the projectile is near. Y button to reflect a projectile. Look for the green indicator above the hero's head. Uh, weapons with the counter trade allow the hero to counter foes. Block it with Y. Got it. Okay, so Y is the block button, X is the hitting button. Ranged like attacks that. using your shield. Make good use of this skill if you wish to survive. Right. This appears to be some sort of tutorial, which is good because I mean I don't know shit about the game. So, Down once you know. more, seeking the heart of it all. Cool. Uh, you have discovered the next egg, the exit to the area. All right, take the stairs. You embark down to the your next leg of your adventure. Well begun. This is what I was looking for. You Traveling. show some aptitude for the game. Perhaps this will not be as boring as I thought. In a shady grove of the beaten, uh, off the beaten trail, you find a traveling merchant looking to trade with wondrous adventurers. Approach the shop. Uh, mages sell only specific items that they've been discovered in a faraway land. Prices can be very high, but they also pay well in exchange for anything that catches their interest. Greetings, wise traveler. I have much to offer you. Ah. If you were wondering why you've been collecting all that gold, you now have your answer. We're starting to get into the meat of the game now. The back and forth between resources and rewards. Uh, Lizardmen take double damage from the player's attacks. Pressing the right bumper to attack faster with each successful strike. The longer your combo, the more explosive the reaction. Ooh. Each strike inflicts curse, slowing and weakening your opponent. When you draw supplies, start to draw two and pick one. Well, I think we want this thing. That seems thing. This thing seems good. So we'll buy that. A wonderful creation. Forged of alchemical processes. And I think we'll take these as well. Shape. I know of nothing like it. Artifacts it's like provide it, we'll powerful special abilities to use in combat, but it takes time to ready them. And we can buy some food. I guess we'll buy the food while we're here. <laughs> I don't really know if that's useful or not, but we'll do it. All right, I think that's good. Yes, I would like to leave the shop now, please. So this is the game, right? Essentially, it's a it's a board game that takes place digitally, but every now and then there's intersparses of 3D combat, right? I'm sure Which it's I'm not sure we'll find Dead Man's soon-ish. While crossing the ancient rope bridges of Dead Man's Gorge, you hear the sounds of movement from below. It's an ambush! Draw a monster card. Two of dust. Equip all of our garbage here. There we go. Perfect. You can now counter your opponent's attacks. Okay. Hit the counter button when you see the flashing indicator. All right. Cool. Ooh. Right then. Yeah. So this is the game, essentially, right? Is that we get into com we do stuff on the board that gives us stuff to help us deal with um all of this, right? Um, I guess we'll take the healing cap. Any Increasing healing that the player the receives is double. One sort of magic with another. All you need is a channel for power, and it's simple enough. I haven't fought any lizard men, so I don't feel the need to hold on to that lizard man hat. Another armory thing. Take the shield, I guess. I cannot expect you to get by without some protection. There we go. Easy peasy. Ambush! What did you think would happen with a card called Ambush, eh? A slight rustling behind you is all the warning you get when you know you're in grave danger. Two of dust. Let's go. Yeah. So this is essentially the game, right? Is that... We end up with these situations where we, we gather resources on the board, and then after the after the stuff on the board is taken care of, we end up in a situation where um, we essentially get to do combat using the stuff we've gathered. So it's like an RPG, but an RPG done in combination with a board game. And, and I'm very interested in it. Um, there's also things like the card gambits. Uh, I know that there are further gambits, like there are dice games, there's like... Some sort of weird... I, I don't know if that's in this one, but... Um, uh, sneak up and kill them. Yes. Like, there's, like, this thing. There's, like, some big, big wheel thing. I think it's this card. Yeah, all right. 
Uh, a quick weapon blow to the head fixes that. You finish searching the area. You draw the other draws three game cards. Another piece of equipment. Reveal the stairs encounter upon entering the level. But still. I don't think we need that. Um, got some more food, which is good. Got some more food, which is good. Food, essentially, every time we move, it uses a food, and if we run out of food, it starts hurting us. You have reached my first champion. A good man, driven to madness by a war that took all from him. Wife and child. Kith and kin. From such dark and brittle iron, I forge my tools. Now we see your metal. Cool. Let's go. Let's fuck this guy up. We've got, like, a good amount of stuff. So we now have a boss encounter plus four extra mobs, basically. But that guy is our primary target, right? Jack of Dust. Um, which should be fine. Like, I'm pretty sure we'll be fine. Uh, we'll wipe out the ads first, Some obviously. Some enemy attacks cannot be blocked or countered. Get out of the way or stop them with your own counterattack. Go ahead and just keep kicking ass here. There we go. A little bit more mashy mashy. Oh yeah, there we go. Easy. The combat, the, so the combat's very like Arkham Knight, Assassin's Creed, all of that garbage sort of stuff going on here. So the alchemical quicksilver, well, so a combination of the hag rags that we got and the alchemical quicksilver is what allowed that to be that easy, basically. The hags made them slower, the quicksilver made Down us do more damage, things like that, right? And this Perhaps is the tutorial, I'm pretty sure. In the grave, poor soul. One champion has been sent to the cabinet. Yet, we are only at the start of our road. You will face 11 more opponents who will test your strength, your memories, and your resolve. If you fall at the first hurdle, none reach the last. We have wagered, and you have won. You may claim your rewards, yet I will also claim mine. Hmm. As you improve, so do I. Balance must be retained. Cool. Shall we deal again? Ah, good. Now you understand the basics, we can begin in earnest. There we go. Your hero is returned to his beginning items. Our decks are reset. Welcome to the cabinet, home of the members of my court. Cool. All right, let's go to the first mission on this one. Uh, we'll do Jack of Skulls on this on this episode before we cut this thing out. We'll check out the lore. Lore. Serving as captain of the to squads of lesser skeletons, these unholy abominations strike fear into the hearts of all warm-blooded folk. For until the fiend is defeated, the legions are effectively endless. Time for you to face my undead army. Do deck builder here. Jack of Skulls. Uh. No, I, I would prefer to do it myself. All right, cool. So essentially what we get is we get to build our own deck. So this is all the equipment that could possibly show up in the game, right? Well, I don't need two axes because that's stupid. So we'll take like, we'll take all the duplicates out essentially, right? Uh, we'll leave the, we'll leave all of this in because I don't, I, the Explorer Helm lets us see the staircase. That's not very useful. And then the healing cap's good, right? Um, I don't know what this is. Is there a button there? It's why. Uh, this card is new and thus its contents are unknown. So we just got this. So see, we'll take it. We'll take medium armor. We'll take the chains of rage. We're gonna take everything new, so that way I can kind of like get a feeling for what it is. We'll take desperate measures, right? We get to take two more equipment. So I think under that notion, we'll take an extra. We'll take the explorer helm because we didn't need to remove it, I guess. And I guess we'll, we'll also take an extra axe because it seemed pretty good, I guess. All right. So our equipment is now done. So then, what about our encounters, right? So for encounters. Welcome to the wild card update for Hand of Fate. This update adds different fates we selected in order to change the way the game plays. Each fate provides different modifiers to play. Okay. Well, I mean, I don't really want... Okay, that's interesting. Okay, so this is basically our difficulty. I think we'll leave it on default adventurer mode here. And then we'll come over here and we can select encounters. So these are all the encounters that were in that first one. The ambush, Dead Man's Gourd... Uh, Mr. Lionel, the Maiden, and all that. I think we'll leave the Maiden and Mr. Lionel in, and the Twisted Canyon, I think is good. But we'll take out Ambush if we can. And instead, we'll put in things like, let's put in 
the local peasants, Dead King's Hall. Like, we'll put in all these new ones that I've never seen before, right? And that puts us good. Uh, the ambush was just, it was like only negative, and there's no token on it, so we don't really need that. The tokens give us new stuff, right? Um, cool. I think we're good. I think we're good. Let's, uh, let's get started. We'll start this episode, do this deck, see what we can do. It will be awarded when you complete your run. I will add my own cards to the deck. How boring life would be without a little spice. There you go. So he adds his own shit to the deck. And the reason that he adds his own stuff is because he adds stuff that has to do with the encounter that we're doing. But in addition, it's stuff that might be yourself. detrimental to me. Right? So let's get started. We got Master Lionel. Mr. Lionel, never sorry. A fan of illusion or pretense. Uh, while enjoying Here, it, we see this guy. Exception. My name's Lionel, and uh, we'll ask him what he needs. What do you need, Lionel? Me, I need to help you. There you go. He draws us an equipment card. So we got an extra shield, which is good. Equip that shit right there. Cool. So Mr. Lionel is essentially just free garbage. Given how rarely good. one encounters the folk, you are fortunate indeed to meet Merith again. I will just or ask for gold. we are merely cycling around the wheel and dipping 40. into the same memories time and time 50. again. 50. And 30. Okay. Well, we got a good amount of money there, which is fine. Um, I'm not reading those again because we already read them once. Twisted Canyon again. Every the glint day. of a weapon. That initial moment where things begin. I have worked on these cards all my days, and the canyon has been there from the outset. There we go. Awesome. I follow. I pick one card and I kind of try to follow it. If it gets like chalked up behind something, it kind of becomes hard. But I mean, that's fine. What do we got? An axe. Uh, yes, I would like really? to this axe. Is that what you're going to do? Yes. Why don't you chill out, dude? There's the stairs. All right. So we can go down now. If you dare. Yeah, well. Park on the next leg of the adventure here. Many have reached this far. Further, in fact. I do not know if you have what it takes to do better than they did. I mean, I'm pretty sure I do. What do we got? A shop. Nice. We got a bunch of gold off of the elf, so I think we're, we're doing all right. Let's approach the shop. Greetings, traveler. I have much to offer you. I kind of wish it didn't go into, like, these menus. I know it doesn't do that in the second game, but, like, uh, let's buy some items. Let's buy these Chains of Rage. During combat, an light armor gives you some protection. An injury into an asset. Yeah, let's do that. That seems good. Armor protects you from damage. The best armor, of course, does so much more. And then I think we'll buy food while we're here. Can't afford that, so we'll buy this one for four gold. Sure, why not? And we'll leave. Yep, easy. Um, so yeah, I, I'm excited to kind of get into this. I know it gets much more difficult as time goes on. Um, but, I, you know, I'm interested in it. Captain of the God! I always thought it was best to avoid the problems of others. Hear a shout from up ahead, no and the sound concerns. of battle. Racing forwards, you discover a warrior surrounded by undead. Two of skulls. Rocket bones litter the area more around the man. Still more closing out on him, with. and he appears badly injured. Alright, well, let's go help the guy out. You right, buddy? We got a mace. It's a lump of iron on a stick. Not terribly subtle. Equipment with this straight strikes fear in the cold hearts of the undead. They will sustain more damage and may not be resurrected around such holy relics. All right, well, let's go ahead and equip that because that seems like it'll be very useful in this encounter here because there are, you know, skeletons here. Let's get this out. Start the bashin. Whoa. Right in the head. The combat's pretty easy right now, but I think it's mostly because we're fighting like two to three enemies at a time. Um, it's also a little clunky, which is the fine. Token is yours. Well done. There you go. By kicking their ass, we got a token. The token gives us more stuff later. Deeper towards our. I don't want to leave yet. I want to come over here first. What do we got? A river. This one's Running new. water protects against many things in myth. Generally, though, it's just a pain to get past. Attempt to cross the river. Oh, boy. Okay, so we gotta make sure we don't fuck this up. Right. 
this card. Hey, there we go. As you swim, you notice some gleaming stones in the riverbed. If you had lighter armor, you could attempt to dive for them safely. Uh, the crossing is not easy, but you make it in one piece. Oh, okay. So we uh, next time we see the river, we need to remember to like, or we need to wear light armor, I guess. Interesting. No. See, so like we didn't get the token from the river. So next time we add it to the deck, we need to remember to wear light armor. Now all you need to do is find and kill the Jack of Skulls. The devil's choice. A cloaked devil appears in your path. I'm here to test your might, so-called hero. Choose your foe. Um, three of dust. I'll pick the biggest one, because it seems like that might yield the best reward here. Cool. Beat the hell out of that guy. There you go, he's dead now. The combat is uh, shockingly easy in this game, but I, I'm more interested in the board game aspect of it anyway, so, you know, it's whatever. Beat that guy to death here. Like, this part of the game was sort of just like, it's a part. It's fine, <laughs> generally speaking. It does what it needs to do. Excellent. You have passed my cunning test. Have some treasure. Perhaps next time you are passed cross, I will kill you myself. The dealer draws you three cards. This card's token is now yours. Cool. Some food. That's good. We needed cards. that. Armory card. Small for an axe. We'll ignore that. I will not be so graceful Some more food. Long. Good. Nice. Another token for us. Awesome. Dead Man's Gorge. It's enough to put you off crossing at bridges like this. There's a there's Surely monsters. There's an Four of dust. Leave huh? you less exposed and vulnerable. So the dust guys are essentially just bandits, right? Like, the what the card is denotes what kind of monster we're going to be fighting, essentially. Which is fine. I really just got to kind of get in the habit of, like, knowing where, like, how far away I can be from these guys in order to, like, not get hit by them. So that way I know when I need a block or not. Cause don't get me wrong. This is. Realize you were such a fearsome adversary. I got an achievement. I got an achievement, master combat. Which probably just don't get hit in like a bunch of combats. <laughs> the combat's not that e not that hard, to be completely honest. Medium armor provides good defense. Distinctly average. What do you expect me to say? Congratulations. Um. We'll, we'll ignore that. We got the Chains of Rage, which, get, when we get hurt by ranged attacks, apparently, I'm sure has a chance to recharge everything that we have, like all of our artifacts and stuff. Traveling Tinker. That one's new. Shade of Grove off the beaten trail. You find a traveling merchant looking to trade with wandering adventurers. Sure, let's check it out. Hopefully this guy has some, like, cool shit on him, right? Like, hopefully it's something better than... Better than what we've been seeing. Desperate measures might be interesting. That's a holy weapon, so we'll probably end up buying that, to be honest. I also want to buy Damocles. We have a bunch of, like, axes and stuff that we're not going to use. That we might as well sell. Um, we're also not going to use this medium armor, so why don't you take that. And if we're going to buy the mace, let's sell that one as well. Cool. Let's buy the mace now. Desperate measures. The lower I mean, the health press. I have, the more damage does. You select does. these sorts of weapons because nobody ever anticipates being in peril. Such misplaced confidence is usually their downfall. Uh, well, we can't afford Damocles, so we'll just ignore it, I guess. Um, do we have a helmet on right now? We do not. All right, let's buy the Explorer's helmet then. Not that it's been like An a fucking secret where the hell the. Quickly, but tempts you to take your time. Uh, not that, like, like all the paths we've had so far have been, like, straightaways, basically. It's a little different than the second one. I do think the second one's better. It's a much more refined version of this, but I don't Our think that that's a bad thing. Pleased with your challenges. The King of Dust isn't happy of you killing his men. Draw, draw a card. Two of Dust. All right, well, I'll kick his ass, then. Kick your ass, sea bass. Let's go. Yeah. 
Boosh! Get out of here. So square seems to be some sort of shield bash. And then, like, X is, like, to hit with my main hand weapon. Y is to block. A is to dodge. Easy peasy. Guy in the game card. Got some food. Let's go. Would have preferred gold, actually, in this situation, but that's okay. The Jack of Skulls! The undead. Of all the players in the game, these are the most dangerous in the world, yet in no natural form. A wrongness. An error. A tenacious undead is unusually difficult to lay to rest. In addition to the sheer strength, this skeleton has the power to revive recently defeated skeletons in its close vicinity. Serving as captains to squads of lesser skeletons, these unholy abominations strike fear into the hearts of- Oh, we already read that one. Never mind. This token Just kick will his unlock ass. more cards if you can defeat this encounter. That should be really easy. That combat's not that bad. I think the thing that's going to get us, if something's going to get us, it's going to be like an encounter. We're going to like come across an encounter that like I fuck up one of those gambits and it ends up like doing a ton of damage to us and killing us horribly. You know, I'm sure that the combat will get harder as time goes on, mind you. Like I'm like borderline Shots positive. From rifles cannot be deflected. You would do better to avoid them. Are you agile enough? I mean, I could just use this corner to, like, protect myself, right? Knocked out that skeleton. man. Oh, I got hit a little bit there. Shame. Are they all dead? Is that it? Did we do it? <laughs> Perfect. We got the Jack of Skulls taken care of. So these appear to be going like upward in like card well type, done. right? Well done indeed. So like all the jacks are at the, the top, and then there's gonna the go down to like tombs, and even I cannot say what will come of it. Easy. All right, let's now crack this one. Our wager becomes more interesting. The landlocked the lubber. The you've earned suffice to address the challenges I pose. That is the question, is it not? The hunt for the white minotaur has begun. The song of the white minotaur. This one. The white council is expanding its influence. All right. Is this one? The goblin king hall. The goblin king's halls DLC is ready. Uh, these are uh, some of these are DLC tokens that I have because I bought the game two years after it came out. The Underworld awaits your sacrifice. <laughs> You're up to the Captain of the Guard, you receive the mace. Which is good, because I actually was working out pretty well. Not that it'll be particularly useful against um, the Devil's Wager. Interesting. For as a reward for beating Skeleton Jack, you receive these cards. The Crucible, the Queen of Dust, the Helpful Priest, the Desert Storm. And... Of course, the last one that we got for defeating the Skeleton Jack, you also received the Helm of Reflection, the Consuming Shame, Angel's Wings, and Frost Fan. Interesting. All right, cool. Shall we deal again? Uh, Another round, and our game truly yes, begins. Yes, but only so that I can go, what? Well, thank you all for watching. Um, if you guys like what you saw, let me know. If you guys want to see more, don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date. I want to post more videos. If you really like what you saw, leave a like. Helps the channel grow, helps me out a great deal. Let me know if this is something you guys would be interested in watching. Um, I'm going to play it regardless, um, but, you know, whether or not it goes up on the channel will be largely up to you guys. So with that, thank you all so much for watching, and let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. So with that, thank you all so much for watching. Catch you guys in the next video. Bye!